Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I'm back using this fabulous stamp from Purple Onion Designs called Merry Christmas it's, and it's one of their logo stamps. I've got this teal piece of cardstock and I'm wanting to repeatedly stamp this over the front so I'm going to use my Fiskars stamp press. I've chosen the largest stamp press and I'm using some repositionable adhesive because I haven't got any cling on the back of this stamp so I can just stick it wherever I'd like then. I'm just making sure that it's nice and straight on the grid lines because I want to do some repeated stamping over this teal coloured panel. So I'm using my anti-static pad or buddy giving that a little wipe over the front of the panel and then I've got my grid lines on my mat I'm just using those to work out where the middle of the panel will be so that um, I can line my images up on the actual cardstock and I'm using some Versamark ink the good thing about using the large Fiskars stamp press is that I won't have to emboss each image as I stamp them it just gives me a bit more space between the feet of the stamp press so it means that hopefully I won't be touching the areas that I've stamped before I've had a chance to emboss them Now who doesn't love Zing embossing powder? I'm addicted to the stuff and I'm slowly collecting all the colours. I love the opaque finish that you get. It's just wonderful. It works really well every time. And this colour is called Rouge. I'll just tap the excess off. So I'm using the lid of a box to heat set because there's so much embossing powder on here I didn't want to accidentally touch it but you could use a craft sheet or anything like that if you have one. I'm holding it in place with a craft knife so it doesn't blow away. So I've got some red satin ribbon and I'm wrapping it around the card and tying a bow. I have a separate pair of scissors that I use for cutting ribbon and I make sure not to use these to cut any paper products at all as that can make them go blunt. I like to secure my bows with glue dots but you could use something like glossy accents but just be aware it might take a bit longer to dry. I'm using foam dimensionals to attach this panel to the card front. I'd just like to say thanks for stopping by again today. I've had heaps of fun creating this card for Purple Onion Designs and I'll be back again real soon. So until then, happy paper crafting. Bye.